Hello everybody, in this video I will be showing you guys how to make the inside of your McDonald's in Minecraft. Um, so yeah, part one, of course, we made <clears throat> the inside, or sorry, well, <laughs> the outside of your McDonald's, a complete outside. So now, I'll be showing you guys how to make the inside. Now I'll be giving you guys just a quick little tour of what we'll be making. So first off, of course, we have a bunch of seating in here. Uh, we have the little uh, boards here, like the little menu boards that are like touch screen. You can like order off of there, um, which I actually quite like this. I think every restaurant should do this. I know a few do. I think Wendy's does as well. I'm not sure, but uh, I've only really ever been inside McDonald's. I've been inside of Wendy's, but I don't remember if they had the these menu boards. But yeah, but I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure they have one of those. But and then of course we got the little uh, drink stand here with the napkins, the cup cup for like the utensils and then this is like where you would get your uh, uh your um like ketchup or whatever uh i think it's really actually it's actually like a dispenser it's not really like most of this stuff is all dispenser stuff it's not all like you know laid out on the table but uh these are cookie jars because if you didn't know mcdonald's does sell cookies um and then these are just um whatever the heck these are cash registers there we go um, and then we got a menu board up here, which just, you know, pictures, and these would usually be like screens, so that's kind of what the paintings are meant to kind of be, and then just some menu stuff, because, you know, the paintings don't have food on them, so you can't really do, so you gotta want to put some item frames there. Uh, behind this wall, we have the kitchen, um, oh my gosh, my nephews are being so loud right now. Uh, we have, like, where you can pass food through to the, you know, the employees at the cash register, and then you can, they can, like, just call out the orders so it's like a pass-through window we got some cookery in here which is more of a mostly just a bunch of ovens uh, and then just some storage stuff as well uh, I didn't really know what to put in here I put a sink I was gonna put an ice cream machine but I just I really couldn't fit one we have uh, the soda dispensers for the drive-throughs um, and I say drive-throughs because there's well I mean I guess there's one drive-through I, mean, I guess I should have said drive-through windows because there's the pay window and then there's the um, uh, pickup window, so, um, which I quite like, actually, it kind of keeps things going, I think, I, I quite like that they have two windows, um, then we have this, of course, um, which I'm sure you guys could tell what those are, and then these are, uh, obviously the fridge and freezer, and then we also have a bathroom, which is just over here, if we head down here, if we can get out of here, sorry, I'm, I just realized I made this tour way longer than it should be, but yeah, toilet sink, pretty simple, but yeah, sorry about that very long tour. I kind of got carried away. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. Without any further ado, let's uh, let's just get straight into this. I already, I've already wasted enough time. So, alrighty. So the first, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and make some uh, uh, lighting uh, before we even put up the walls because you know it's very dark in here and I don't like that. Um, if you need to, you can go ahead. And, uh, <clears throat> you can grab some night vision if you need to. Um, and sorry if you guys can hear my nephews out in the hallways, they're going to be a bit loud, so I apologize. But anyways, first thing we're going to do, uh, right above the light gray concrete here, you just want to start putting a chiseled quartz frame around here, and then you kind of want to like wrap it into this part of the building, because this part's kind of like, you know, indented there, if that makes any sense. But yeah, then you would just all the way around. All right, and then you just want to leave a gap of one from each other here, and then it should all be even, one block gap from each. Yeah, it should all be perfectly even for you guys. Um, so yeah, if you didn't, if it's not, then you did something wrong, either in the first tutorial or this tutorial. You just gotta, you know, kind of take a good look, but or you just built this wrong. You didn't like lay them out correctly. So just make sure you did that correctly. But yeah, so if it's not even, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> be honest uh all right and then you want to kind of you know do it there just like that all right and then for here you do this and boom all righty so now we can go ahead and start putting in our lighting which is just some sea lanterns there is enough room up here for if you want to do uh redstone and uh redstone uh redstone lamps to make them actually turn on and off you can do that um you are gonna have to figure out how the how to get the lever to you know you would have to like put like a lever up on the lights. I don't know if it's gonna connect to all the lights, like the redstone. Uh, well, I guess all, I guess all most of these lights are all gonna be most of these lights are gonna be separate. So, so I guess you know, um, so I guess not. But I don't know. But yeah, that's the. Uh, and then we'll we'll adjust the ceiling because uh, obviously we're gonna have like the walls put up, and then it's gonna 
kind of look weird if uh yeah i'll show you guys what i mean when we actually do the walls but yeah you just uh go ahead and fill these up and then this will just brighten up the interior for us it just makes sense to do this first uh, before we actually do anything else so just so we don't have to worry about using night vision so yeah doesn't that, isn't that a lot better it's so much more brighter in here Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and do the walls so that we have everything laid out, and then we can do the flooring last. Well, not last, but, you know, after walls and ceiling, we can do the flooring. So, uh, of course, my stupid self forgot what the flooring material is. <laughs> and of course I did. Or, I don't even know why I'm worrying about that now. But, go ahead and grab brick block, but I'm also going to go ahead and grab the flooring material, because we're going to do that after the walls, so I guess I should worry about this. Okay, yeah, block iron, we're going to need birch planks, we're going to need uh, block of netherite, and I think uh, quartz bricks, because I always use that for the bathrooms, if I'm not mistaken. Of course I'm not, alright. Um, but no, I like that, I like that I'm using the quartz bricks, because it looks like tile. But, yeah. Okay, so, um, so alright, so for the walls, you want to come, let's come to the back left corner of the building here. All right, very back left, or sorry, back right corner. Wow, so like uh, where we have the air conditioners here, you know, this very right one, you want to come down to this corner. Come out forward by three, and then you just want to go left by one, two, three, four, five, six. I, I, I go up by one, gap one, one, and then come back down to here. Go down by one, two, three, four, five, six, gap a one, one, two, three, four. Go up by two, and then go left by one, two, three. Uh, place two light gray concrete and then three brick come back over to here uh and then you want to basically come so where we have this gap of one you want to go up by one two three and then go right by one two gap of one one two come back to where you started here you want to go up by one two three and then you want to go left one two three four five Oops. and then you want to go up one gap of one then do two and there you've just laid out your walls so you want to just go ahead and yes there is a gap here obviously so you can get into the kitchen uh for this you want to just extend this up to the ceiling and then i think it's just um or sorry no yeah you, you would ex you, you would extend this over and then you would grab uh what is it brick stairs if i can find it wherever that's at i don't know why my nephews are being so loud uh, yeah, and then you would put upside down brick stairs, kind of make like an arch. I just think that looks nice. Uh, of course, feel free not to do that. You don't have to do that, but, uh, and then where this light gray is, don't put anything. You want to leave a gap of two above that. All right, that's going to be our pass through window so you can pass food through it. Go ahead and grab yourself some, uh, quartz slab, kind of put above it, add some detail, kind of like, you know, I don't know. I just think it looks nice like that. I don't really know the word for it, but. But yeah, and then you would just extend this all the way up, and then obviously where you have the gaps of ones, these are going to be doors, so make sure you make little doorways for them. These are obviously pretty easy. We all know how high a door is in Minecraft, how many blocks high it is, so you would go that many blocks up and then connect. Uh, and then it's kind of a, kind of a puzzle at this point, you know, you got all these pieces, you just got to connect them all together. This is actually pretty fun. I like This is probably my favorite part of filling up walls, is when it's like a smaller building and it's all these like different pieces you can connect together it's like a puzzle it's really fun but but yeah and then you would just of course extend this all the way up to the ceiling um which we will of course adjust like i said before we do the flooring we'll go ahead and adjust the ceilings and i'll sh again i'll show you guys what i mean by that uh here put it quickly um yeah and sorry if i my pants were in the camera there for a while there I, i'm hoping to get a camera stand at some point that's like the main thing i really want right now so i don't have to deal with holding it up with my legs but yeah, so now all we got to do is, so if you take, uh, you should still have your uh, chiseled quartz, but uh, you want this, you want the chi you want the, the lights to be a gap of one from like any walls that we have. So anytime you see like a light, like the lights connecting to the walls, you want to like disconnect them like this, replace it with the, you know, kind of like do that. You want them to be a gap of one from any walls that you see. So like here is fine. Well, here, now here's the thing. Here you can't do anything, but if it's like, you know, going vertically, like horizontally, obviously we can't do anything, but like if it's like this where it's going vertical like this uh, and it's connected to a wall, you would just fill that in. Obviously here we can't do anything without it looking weird. Or actually, hmm, actually I guess we could. We can probably just delete it. And then that doesn't look too bad. It is a little uneven. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to, if that doesn't bother you too much. Uh, but like in here, here is like weird. Like this is like, we might as well just delete that whole light and just make like a four by four up here. So we have like four lights like this. I think that looks a lot better. And if we come in here, it should be, yeah, this one we want to do three like this. So you want to have like 
three going along the middle and then that's perfectly even so for the freezers and fridge it's different or i guess fridge and freezer whatever same thing i guess um here again you want to disconnect them make sure they're a block away from everything um and then in the bathroom again it's just like the freezer you just want to make it uh three blocks um and then yeah make it like that and there you go alrighty so that is what you want to do for the ceiling and walls it's looking pretty good in here so now that you got everything laid out we can go ahead and do the flooring now this I will do off camera because it's gonna take a while so uh, go ahead with your birch planks you wanna this is the whole dining we're gonna call this the dining room because that's kinda what it is but I think I think that's actually what it's called but yeah you would just go ahead fill this up just like or sorry we'll dig this out then fill it up but yeah, dig out all the grass and then fill it in with birch planks or really whatever flooring you like. I just thought birch planks looked uh, appropriate. So where did the door go? Did I not? Oh, I must already have it in my... Yeah, okay. I was like, where'd it go? That was so weird. But yeah, just dig all this up, fill it in with the... Um, don't worry about any of this, like all this marked out. That's for me. Don't worry about that. Just fill, dig out the flooring, fill it in here. Where the counter is... So basically, actually go ahead and grab yourself some red concrete and connect this to the wall from here this is going to be our counter so go ahead and just that's going to separate it from the dining room because in here this wants to be different this wants to all be iron yeah so the iron uh is for the uh counter area and also the kitchen so you want to just fill it up with that all right so dining room birch planks uh counter and kitchen iron Fridge and freezer, block of netherite. Um, I just think it looks. Uh, we can actually go and fill. In, I can actually go and fill in the freezer, I guess. But, but yeah, that wants to be all be block of netherite, and then the bathroom just wants to be quartz bricks because it looks like tile. Again, you can change up the flooring, use what you want, but this is what I'm using. So feel free to do what you want with that. But you know, make, I, I would. It would be nice if they were all different floorings. You know, it just makes sense. So, so yeah, kitchen and counter, iron. Uh, fridge and freezer, block of netherite, bathroom, quartz bricks, and dining room birch planks. So yeah, I'll, I'll be right back once I've filled all that in. Alright y'all, once you have uh, filled in all of your flooring, um, it is now time to, uh, well, actually before we continue to do anything else, go ahead and make sure you have all your doors in uh, for everything. So, you know, once you've uh, made your floors, go ahead and put in uh, doors in these little areas here, little spaces, but... Yeah, once you've made, once you've placed all your doors, we can now, <sighs> excuse me guys, it's now time to decorate the uh, interior. So we're going to start with the dining room. Uh, you're going to need smooth quartz stairs, yellow concrete, black carpet, you're going to need composter, red carpet, scaffolding, red concrete, black concrete, and smooth quartz slab. Once you have all of that, um, you want to go ahead and um, just um, on either side of the door here, you want to put composter and then you just want black carpet in between it like this and then I guess if you want to you can also put carpet kind of in front of it like this um, but I wouldn't do that because um, because we're gonna have some yellow carpet here so you don't really want it to connect it's not gonna look good but yeah um, and then just behind this right composter you want to have two yellow concrete like that and then court stairs scaffolding with red carpet Excuse me guys stairs concrete and the three concrete towards the wall like this Extend towards the other side here by three extend out and then you want to have smooth quartz stairs on the inside here And then you want to have scaffolding and red carpet All right, and then coming uh, down this side here. You want to have stairs you want to have scaffolding red carpet um, and then you just want to keep uh, you just kind of want to keep doing this until you eventually reach this middle part of the window here um, and then this makes a good amount of tables for the inside um, there you go all right and then next uh, just two blocks in front of this door here you can just go ahead and put a composter um, which these are trash cans by the way but I'm sure you guys already knew that okay next from this first table you want to leave a gap of one and you want to put a stair and then you just basically want to put three other stairs kind of around in a circle like this and then leaving a gap of one um, going towards the other side here you want to do this two more times and then these are just some simple you know four seater tables that's what i like to call them you know just, just simple you know they're not booths but they're just like regular tables all right 
And then if you take the space in between these two chairs here, and then you just move towards the kitchen here by, uh, so like for here, you want to go one, two, three, right? And then you want to go ahead and put two black concrete, and then red concrete, and then yellow concrete, and then you want to go ahead and put slab on top, gap of two towards the other side, and you just want to do the same thing. And then you want to just, yeah, basically just make the same exact thing. These are the little touch screen, you know, item or the like menu things. So those, that's what those are supposed to be, the little touch screen menus. All right, so now, um, <sighs> sorry guys, I'm, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry guys, I'm just so yawny today. <laughs> that sounded weird, yawny, but all right, so now. Go ahead and grab yourself uh, some paintings, grab yourself a sign, uh, yellow carpet, grab yourself chisel quartz bricks, dead bush, leaves, and a flower pot, just like that, all right, and then um, I guess go ahead and grab yourself some red carpet, uh, even though we already grabbed it, I apologize, and then grab black carpet again, so I guess you want to keep those two. Um, so that's why, you know, you want to put them away because you never know when you're going to need them. Um, but yeah, just in front of the store here, you want to do two black or carpets, extend forward by one. Uh, in front of the counter, you want to do red carpet. Um, and I would go all the way to the end here like that. All right, and then just uh, where the bathroom is here, you just want to kind of put a row of carpet, yellow carpet there. And then you want to put signs beside these two doors here. This one will say like employees, this one will say restroom. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not going to fill those up, but yeah, that's what you guys can fill those up on your own. And then here in the corner, you want to have a chiseled quartz brick or sorry, chiseled nether brick, sorry, flower pot, dead bush, and then leaves is just a little potted plant. And then let's see, um, can't seem to find the, here we go. want to have like some paintings on the wall. These can just be like advertisements or something. Uh, oops, of course you gotta shape it, which is annoying. There we go. So yeah, there you go. And then there's that one. I don't know what else, well, well, I mean, I don't know, you guys can, you know, put whatever other paintings you want, but that's pretty much all I feel like doing, <laughs> um, at least in terms of paintings. <sighs> Alright guys, uh, oh, I guess we want to keep with the paintings. Uh, light gray concrete, uh, birch sign, red and white concrete, black carpet, tripwire hook, um, and then, um, and then I guess go ahead and grab yourself some, another flower pot and then, uh, like red candle. Um, obviously we still need more stuff, but that's, um, this is going to be for the little drinks area. So if you take your uh, light gray concrete and then just beside this trash can here, you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And then on the right side here, you want to do red, white, and red concrete, just one block above it with a tripwire hook in that gap. Uh, black carpet on top of the concretes, and then you just want to put birch sign um, on the fronts here. This is, this is just a simple soda machine. You can write like different soda names in here if you want to. All right, and then flower pot, gap of one, and then just red candles for ketchup. Um, and then if you want, oh, and then also you guys can go ahead and put just some like paintings in front of here or just on here. Um, but yeah, that's what those are going to be. Oop. I did not do that right. There we go. Alrighty, y'all. That's what you all want to do there. Alright. So now once you've taken care of that, uh, just go ahead and grab yourself item frame and paper for a napkin thing. Uh, and then that'll just be the whole... Um, well, that'll be a majority of the dining room completed. Um, we still have to do the actual menu boards here. Now these ones, you're going to want to grab buttons, right? I believe. Yeah, hang on, let me go back and check because I literally forgot. <sighs> yep, I was right. Okay. Alright, so you want to put buttons um, on the yellow concretes, um, just like this on the other side of the black concrete. Um, Alright. And then you want to put item frames on both the um, on both black concretes. Uh, or you can put a painting, it really doesn't matter. Um, and then just go ahead and grab some cooked food 
which you have to go over here and then just kind of grab like some meat or whatever. Um, and then just kind of put them uh, here in the item frames. Kind of looks like different menu options. And then those are the little uh, um, touch screen things, uh, menus. Yeah, so there we go. That's that. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much the the dining room complete, I'd say. So now we can go ahead and make the menu board, which you're going to need black concrete painting, item frame, and then you can go ahead and just grab like random, you know, stuff. Uh, it really doesn't matter, just all kinds of random, you know, whatever stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just go ahead and uh, just do that. And then, and then um, I think after that, uh, instead of making the kitchen first, we'll actually uh, do the bathroom and then like the freezers. I want to kind of do all the easier stuff first before I do the kitchen. Um, so yeah, just above this window here you want to have, um, and then just before the stair, you want to have two rows of uh, black concrete. And then you want to have, um, oops, you want to have um, like two by two paintings, just like this. And then you want to have uh, item frames in the middle just like that um, but yeah that's kind of what you want there um, I, I think I had it laid out differently hang on um, yeah I did okay so I mean you it doesn't matter how you lay it out if you want to lay it out like this you know then that's fine but um, you could also make it to where it's like this which I think I like this better personally but you guys can do what you want um, but yeah then just kind of put random stuff in it um, that kind of look like McDonald's menu items so you know, it really doesn't matter what you put in there as long as it, you know, I guess looks appetizing. But yeah, uh, you could also put signs up here if you want to put like prices. So if like you had like chicken here and then you can maybe put like signs here to say like $3 or something, you know, then you can definitely do that. You know, you can customize that however you want, but that's just a pretty typical menu board. All right, so now uh, we might as well take care of the counter now, get that done. So I think that's actually the last part of this whole dining room area um, but yeah um, just grab yourself some yellow carpet some white stained glass block cookie item frame polished black stone stairs jungle sign um, spruce trap door and then um, and then you can also grab yourself some just like cooked food as well because we're gonna put some stuff for like the, the ordering like thing or I don't know so basically here you can put two item frames and this is meant to be like food that can be passed through to the you know the workers working at the register um, but you could also put like um, if you want you can do a flower pot and then that kinda looks like a cup you know maybe this is like a burger and this is a cup you know it's kinda like a whole meal um, you guys can do what you want there but yeah it's kinda meant to be kind of an ordering area there or not ordering area, but it's meant to be just like, you know, pass food. It passes, you can pass food through it to the cashiers and then they can pass it to the customer. But yeah, um, and then just leaving a gap of one on either side here, you just want to go ahead and put a, um, at least I think it's a gap of one. Let me get, double check that. I don't know if I'm right. Um, yes, I was right. Okay, good. All right, and then you want to go ahead and put yourself some white stained glass block uh, beside it, like kind of going like inward like this if that makes any sense all right and then you want a black stone stair in the middle uh, with another it doesn't matter what side you put it on because either way it's gonna be uneven but but that's fine you want to put trap door oops on top of the glass right and then you want to go ahead and put um, item frame and cookie and then this is just the little cookie jars that they have and then jungle sign behind the registers for um, because this is meant to be the little screen that shows your total um, that you have to pay, so that's what that's supposed to be. And then just put yellow carpet to add color. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's actually, believe it or not, that's the entire um, dining room done. Also, for the kitchen, um, you can switch out this door for jungle. I think I like the jungle door here better. But definitely make sure the bathroom door is a solid door, because obviously you don't want like a window in there, because that's you know, pretty weird. So, but yeah, um, you guys don't have to do that, but that's just, that's just what I think you should do. Um, but yeah, so now, um, now what we should do, let me head back in here. Let's see what we need to do next. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's the entire, uh, yeah, that's the entire dining room. So 
we come in here, um, I don't know if we actually did this yet. I don't think we did. So go ahead and grab yourself some iron trap door. Grab yourself some birch, or sorry, some pillar quartz block, stone button, and then just any kind of raw food and item frame, right? And then scaffolding, um, and then beehive chest and barrel or whatever. You know, just some sort of like storage box. All right. So then you're going to head into, uh, once you grab those, you want to head into the freezer, uh, fridge and freezer of your McDonald's, right? You want to come in here. Um, and then you just want to go ahead and do, um, so for the first, so when you first walk in, you're going to be in the refrigerator and then the freezers in here. Uh, first of all, these little gaps in here, you want to do sideways, like horizontal pillar quartz and then a stone button like that. You want to do the same thing on the other one. This is just an air conditioner, um, you know, just to kind of keep the food cool. That's what that's supposed to be. So, but yeah, and then you leave a gap of one, and then you do another, uh, and you just keep stacking a bunch of uh, um, iron trap doors here for shelves. And then these make very good shelves. All right, and then just in between here, you want to have some item frames so you can put like raw food in it. Um, and then yeah, these are gonna, these are gonna be. You can put just any kind of raw food in here. This is just a good place to keep it, I guess. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up. I don't know why I even did this part. This part's pretty useless, but um, I don't know why I filled the birch in there. But but yeah. Um, oh, and then I guess here you can maybe put another shelf here. But I wouldn't do that since it's not going to match this. I wouldn't put another shelf here just because, you know, you have the button there. It's not going to work. So I'd just leave it like this, make it look better. Um... Also, I guess you could also make this shelf um, a little, er, or I guess you can't. I don't know. I was thinking maybe you can make that shelf higher and you could put like an item frame there, but I guess not. Alrighty. So now, uh, if we head into the freezer, uh, you're going to go ahead and just put, um, I think it's three rows of scaffolding. Yeah, I think, yeah, three rows of scaffolding on either side, just like this, just some typical shelving. And then you want to just put like any sort of like random like beehives. Um, and then uh, you want to go ahead and do a barrel if I can find it. Or you can do like brown shulker boxes or anything. Just and some sort of like storage box looking thing. It's basically what you want to have for this. But yeah, those are just meant to be just some random boxes stored up there. You can even make these shelves shorter if you want to. But, but yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, you guys can do a lot more with this. You can add more stuff. You can add boxes kind of in here, whatever. But that's pretty much all I have planned for that part. So, yeah. Um, now, um, I don't think we did the bathroom yet, did we? No, we didn't. All right, let's go ahead and do that next. So go ahead and grab yourself some smooth quartz stairs, um, some smooth quartz block, and then go ahead and grab yourself some stone button, and then um, a trap door, right? Spruce trap door, and then um, and then we'll need a, a light blue banner. Let's see, we're gonna need a tripwire hook, and then yeah, sorry guys, I'm so um, I'm kind of tired right now, so I'm like topic talking kind of quietly. I'm just like losing my train of thought right now, but I just want to really get really want to get this tutorial done out of the way, so I'm not gonna Yeah. But anyways, um I think that's as far as I know, that's all we need, but I'm sure there's oh yeah, there's a lot more we still need. Uh we need item frame, we need um what is this? We need banner pattern, any kind of banner patterns, doesn't matter. Um we need uh we're gonna need empty map. And then we're gonna need some other stuff, but we'll grab it later. Alrighty, so um, it doesn't really matter which side you put the toilet and which one you put the sink, but I'm just gonna do it how I did it originally. So um, this, so whichever side you're gonna put the sink on, you want to have two quarts on either side of this part here with um, inside facing stair, and then you just want to have tripwire hook and then item frames on both sides, and then empty map on one side, and then we'll put something else on the other side here. Uh, light blue banner above the um, tripwire hook and then just in front of this here just on this wall you want to have uh, two smooth quartz block on top of each other and then a smooth quartz stairs in front of it upside down 
and delete the stair behind the stair, this or delete the block behind the stair and put an upside down stair like that. And then you want to go ahead and put a spruce trap door, a stone button there, and then you want to put an item frame with a banner pattern in it for toilet paper. Um, and then last thing we need in here is a pink dye for like soap. That's what it's supposed to be. All right there we go, and that's pretty much all you could really do in here. I guess you could put like a trash can in the corner, but that kind of makes it a little cramped. I don't really like that. So but yeah, that's a pretty typical bathroom, nothing special about it. So, oh, and then uh, if you haven't already, yeah, just make sure you have the button for the toilet. But yeah, so that's the bathroom, pretty typical, nothing fancy. Alrighty, so now the only thing we have to do is pretty simple. We just got to finish up the kitchen and then we're done with this whole build. So yeah, I know it's pretty crazy. Oh, we're already almost done. Okay, so, so yeah, anyways, um, let's just, uh, okay, so the first things we're going to do is we're going to take care of, like, the, like the drive-through area here, so we're going to do, uh, polished blackstone stairs, painting, smooth quartz stairs, uh, we're going to do scaffolding, uh, bookshelf, um, and then we're going to need brewing stand, cocoa beans, item frame, and then we're going to need a trap or sorry, tripwire hook, there we go. And then obviously we still need some other stuff, but we'll worry about all that later. Um, all right, so let's start off. Um, where you have the drive through windows, you have two windows here. Uh, for this first one, you just wanna go ahead and put a scaffolding with a stair behind it, a polished blackstone stair. Oops, make sure it's facing the scaffolding, there we go. And then you wanna have a smooth court stair on top of it with a painting on it like that. And then you just wanna do the same thing for this window. This is just simply, you know, computer on a chair or on a desk um but yeah kind of a table this is so like you know drive through person can you know wrap you know make the orders and stuff and then a gap of one from the scaffolding and the chair here you want to put a row of bookshelves right and then in the middle you want to have a brewing stand item frame cocoa beans above it and then we're gonna and then you're gonna want to put um tripwire hooks on both sides of the um um, the brewing stand and then grab red and white concrete black carpet and then birch sign to finish off the soda machines so you want to put red and white concrete on either side of the um, item frame here and then you want to have black carpet on top of the concrete with birch sign in front of the concretes and then these just finish off the little soda machines um, for like the drive through uh, and there we go so that's how you make that so now, um, now that we got that part completed, uh, we still have a lot more to do in the kitchen, but it's not too much more, to be honest. But yeah, so now go ahead and grab yourself some cauldron, some iron trap door, polished andesite stairs, cobblestone wall, pillar quartz block, smooth quartz slab, tripwire hook, and then lava. Um, yes, you're going to need lava. So I'm sure you guys can tell what it's going to be used for. Alrighty, so... If we head over to, uh, well, you guys should already be in the kitchen by now, but if we head over to where the back door is, right, where you can, like, like the iron door at the back here, right, uh, you want to leave a gap of one going towards the freezer, and then you just want to do uh, two cauldron, and then followed by two vertical pillar quartz. Uh, extend the pillar quartz up by, I'd, I'd say do it by two, just I wouldn't make it too big, um, and then put slab on top, and then, oops, put a tripwire hook here that's meant to be just kind of a, a little fridge um this could this doesn't this could be for like i don't know like buns or whatever um just i don't know to keep them fresh i guess um and then you want to put well before you put iron trap door you want to put lava be careful not to spill it um, but you want to put lava inside the cauldrons that's meant to be like a fryer deep fryer and then upside down uh, polished andesite stairs or you can have them right right facing, but they won't look as good if you have the wall on top of them. Then you want to have a wall going up to the ceiling. But yeah, and then that's just simply a deep fryer and a fridge. So pretty simple. All right, so now all you got to do, all we got to do now, well, there's still quite a bit we have to do, but if you grab back, uh, grab back your scaffolding, um, uh, so like I guess, okay, so where we have this wall here, so we have these two brick blocks right here. Right, you want to leave a gap of one, then you want to do two scaffolding, and then just extend up by one. Gap of two going towards the fridge and the fryer. You want to do three going towards it, extend up by one. And then I think on top of these, I don't remember what I put, but these are just little storage shelves. Um, 
you know, because, like, you know, if you go to, like, a McDonald's kitchen, there's usually just a bunch of random, like, there's some, there's a lot of, like, storage and stuff, so. I, okay, I guess I just put flower pots, but you guys can put a variety of stuff on top of it. Um, so, yeah. You know, just kind of put whatever, kind of put whatever you want on top here. It's, it's literally meant to be random storage stuff, so you can even put, like, boxes up here if you want to, but... Alrighty, so now, um, what we're gonna have to do, uh, we're gonna wanna grab bookshelf, um, and I think after we get this part done, that'll be the whole McDonald's completed, because, yeah, we pretty much completed everything else, believe it or not, so, um, so yeah, we're gonna need to do sea pickle, hopper, oops, we don't need brick, um, ignore that, uh, we're gonna need a tripwire hook, uh, we're gonna need pink dye, paper, item frame, uh, barrels, right uh, and then you're gonna need spruce trap door and then that's pretty much well we still need a, we still need a lot more stuff but <sighs> okay so uh, so back into the kitchen if we um, all right bookshelf so if you go along this wall here for the freezer you want to do three bookshelf hopper and then a bookshelf tripwire hook above the hopper um, item frame on either side of the tripwire hook and then pink dye, paper, in each of the frames there. Sea pickle, sea pickle, um, and then, I don't remember how I did this. Oh yeah, so you wanna leave a gap of one from the ceiling and then you wanna do a uh, three barrel. And then you wanna have, um, and then you wanna kinda have like two uh, trap door. Make sure you have enough, make sure you can like put stuff above here. Um, maybe you want to, might, might want to put more barrel there. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. I forgot how to do that part, but, um, but yeah, that's kind of just, this is, that's just kind of like some storage. Again, there's a lot of storage in this place. So, um, okay. Okay. So I, I did it right before. So, but yeah, so actually let me go ahead and fix that. So I guess you, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but, um, yeah, honestly, I don't really care. I don't think it matters. So, you know, the more the merrier, am I right? Okay, so now go ahead and grab chest and chain, right? And then, um, I think we already did these two, yep. So now go ahead and grab, uh, go ahead and grab a painting, because, you know, you're going to need that. Uh, furnace, detector rail, um, you're going to want a smoker, campfire, and then polished andesite, and then birch button, all right? So we're, we're very close to finishing, guys, don't worry. I know this is kind of a long tutorial, but... Don't worry, y'all. We're getting close to finishing. All right. So in here, uh, you want to put a chest or a chain there, and then a chest there, or you can put whatever you want there. But it's just kind of like a hanging shelf. All right. Uh, you want to have some paintings. Oops. Um, beside this little window part, and then you also want a painting. Oops. Make sure it's a two by two. There we go. Just like that. Right. And then uh, just one block from the wall, you want to have three or sorry, four furnaces like this, just like a gap of one from the kind of a gap of one from everything around it, except for like in front of it. Uh, well, it will be a gap of one in front of it, but you know, not right now. Anyways, uh, and then you just want to put detector rail on top of it. You're gonna have to crouch to do this. But yeah, that's what you want to have there. Right. And then um, and then just a block in front of it, you want to have two um, polished andesites on the sides and then you want to just dig out into the ground in the middle and then put two or sorry four campfires and then smokers in the middle just like that right and then on either side of them you want to do uh, birch buttons just like this oh and then um, you might want to have the smokers like facing out like this so just make sure that they're like that all right and then I think the real I think really the last thing we have to do and then I guess you can go ahead um, I think we're gonna make a, a I think we're gonna make a vent, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty, pretty sure there's like a vent above it, but I could be wrong. Um, okay, yes, I was right. Okay, so you want to grab stone brick stairs. You want to grab red and yellow candles, and I think that's actually it. I think after this, um, we'll be done. So, so yeah, um, so yeah, go ahead and grab those last three materials, All right? And then just, um, I'm pretty sure you guys already know where these are gonna go, but. Uh, where the fire is touching the ceiling, you want to go ahead and dig into the ceiling like that so that, like the smoke can go f f freely, right? And then you want to just like, um, this is going to be kind of hard, you want to have like upside down um, stone brick stairs going all the way around it like this. Uh, now this is going to be touching that there, I suppose. Oof, that's kind of, that's kind of annoying that it touches that, but 
Um, if you uh, if you don't like that, you can make this shorter, but it won't look as good. But yeah, I don't know. I really should have thought of that. Um, you could even make this shorter. Like you don't have to have as many. Like you can cut this whole like side off and then kind of make this shorter, so that it's like so it's kind of like so that's kind of like this, but it's not like two rows thick. Um, and then you can just kind of put um, red and yellow candles for like ketchup and stuff, um, or you can put like different kinds of food, um, like on item frames. But yeah. Um, yeah, once you uh, once you've uh, done that, guys, that is actually the entire um, McDonald's 100% completed, believe it or not. So, yeah, um, yeah, there you go, guys. That's how you make a McDonald's uh, in Minecraft, at least on the inside. Um, well, I already showed you guys how to make the outside, but yeah, that's it, guys. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry if it took a while to come out, but. I just I, I I was really busy with school. Just I just I wouldn't I would not expect my tutorials to come out like super soon. I'm just just because I'm in school right now. Things are getting things are real busy for me. So, um, but yeah, um, I do hope you guys ended up enjoying this tutorial. If you did, like subscribe if you haven't already, um, or if you're new to the channel. Um, also turn on post notifications so you don't miss when an awesome tutorial like this one comes out. Anyways, I'll see you on the next video.